All right, so I messed up big time on uh, the intro part of this, and uh, basically my microphone wasn't really on. So I'm going to do a voiceover. So we're tuning. That's Jason, his car. I'm giving you a little bit of rundown on uh, other stuff. Um, right now, uh, the DSM and the blue car on the lift, that's uh, Tyler's car. It's almost done. I think the, when I made this, the week after we're going to start it, which is next week or this week, we have another car, uh, Ming's car, which I didn't make a video on the left. And then this car, which is the uh, Trailblazer, is all done. And over the Christmas break, we actually finished the Corvette. Well, stage one. Um, more updates on the GTR because we changed the turbo. And the uh, Corvette, we basically did uh, cam springs, fuel system, well, actually injectors, and a, and a supercharger. And basically, we will be tuning that uh, whenever the shop has time for that because my car does not come uh, first. Um, and I go over a couple of things about uh, fuel on this car, which is very interesting. But we are going to tune Jason's car today. That's the person in the green shoes, and I'm making fun of his <laughs> shoes that match the sweatshirt. As you can see, he's not amused. Um, but his car is uh, beautiful and he took a lot of care of it. He been to a bunch of shops and he came in with a lot of little um, issues. Mainly tuning is one of them, a couple of parts stuff. There's leaks, uh, things here and there, but we fixed all of it. Um, he has a couple of things on this car that I've never seen before because I live under a rock, uh, mostly cosmetic. And, uh, you know, this wing here, specifically one of them that I never seen a wing control like that, which was by a hydraulic or uh, some mechanism that he controls from inside or does it automatically. <laughs> the ones that I've seen, I think you use manually and whatnot. Again, I'm not really into stuff like that, but this is cool. Um, and then uh, his hood was really, really good. I wish... Uh, you know, for high horsepower builds, this, people have more hoods like this. Gets a little rid of a lot of air, uh, hot air. Um, so he has uh, ID 1700s, a G25 uh, 660 turbo. So one of the smaller ones. Uh, so you have a 25, then a 30, then 35. And this is the smallest one out of the bunch. Um, and he has JMF manifold. Uh, you know stock bottom and he has Kelfer B cams and basically we're going to be doing uh, flex fuel tune and uh, you know see how it is we're going to tune 93 first So right away, this is on like 18 pounds, the graph is all scratchy and there's a lot of electrical interference. This is not exactly that his misfiring or anything like that. This is the way, that's just the way the, the ignition pickup, the coil uh, pickup on the dyno picked it up because of a lot of uh, electronic interference. So we're going to switch to drum speed to get an uh, accurate number. So using the drum speed itself. Uh, we were able to extrapolate that this is where we are. Obviously, the torque isn't accurate because that's not possible. This is on 18 pounds. Uh, I'm going to try to dial out some of the some of the electrical issues that he's been having, and then this part of the complaint that he had when he came into the shop.
So as you can see, there's just a lot of electrical interference. He has a lot of stuff underneath this hood um, that's causing this. We try to shield it as much as possible, but it's really not working. And I feel like his coils are on his way out too. Um, he did have some shorters that we did fix a, lo a little bit, but you know this needs uh, a deeper wiring. A lot of stuff that uh, he's opted to do himself, which is you know more than welcome. Uh, but this is at 27 pounds. Just keep in mind, this is a 25 um, series, and I think it's pretty weight. If I had to guess what the torque was, I would say probably like like 350, 360. So I don't realize this, but my second camera that uh, captures the video from back of the car is basically not working right now. The battery ran out. I don't know why. Just just afterwards, I realized the battery overheated, so I changed it. But um we switched over to e85 because you know he's really not going to run 93s just to clean the injectors so we're starting off with the same boost same timing just uh gonna redo the fuel and um just injector scaling at this point Same thing. It looks like soon as the you know boost starts going up, uh, up after a certain point, the interference from the coils, uh, and I'm pretty sure now it's the coils, um, because he did run rich, and typically on you know E85, the first few runs is leaner than I aimed it to be. Um, his coils are definitely on its way out. I'm going to try to adjust it through you know a couple of means like dwell and. Um, and fueling and let me see how that changes it. His gap being the minimum gap that we actually run on these cars, I've had to increase his dwell time by a lot and it really uh, smoothed everything out as you can see in the last run. Um, and that's basically what the issue was this whole time. And this is one of the advantage of running it on the dyno because you could see these little things that you normally wouldn't be able to. And his injectors, I'm sorry, his air fuel ratio leaned out as well. So I'm gonna get rid of all the runs and convert to the conventional uh, parameters. This is still on 27, 28, and then it tapers down to like 24 pounds up top. Um, I'm still running mediocre timing. He does have a stock bottom, but this turbo spools real fast. Like I'm having to actually lower the wastegate um, down low during the spool up area just so it doesn't spike up. But I'm really, really starting to like this turbo.
So on this run, I increased the boost by 2 PSI. So now it's running like 29.30 and then tapers down to 25. And you can see, as soon as I increase the boost, uh, it's doing the same thing again. Between oh, around 6,500 RPM, that little squiggly line, and towards the end when I hit the rev limiter, basically the inject, I'm sorry, the uh, coils uh, are basically spazzing out. Um, let me show you on a different uh, graph. When using the rollers, uh, we see the the dip around 70 miles per hour, and then again at like 78. And that is not a um, a snuff. That's not a uh, a spark blowout. This is literally interference inside the coils, where it might be grounding itself somewhere, or you know something's going on with the electrodes inside. But we don't know. It's uh, electric interference, and most of the time this is remedied by changing the coil. Something internally is going wrong, and adding grounds to the head and the chassis is another um, possible uh, solution. the final number in 85 again that that not spark cut up the spark signal to the dyno cutout um, th there's definitely something happening there um, Jason is aware of it this doesn't affect really performance as far as you know coil blowouts go um, but it does it might affect other things like parasitic drain and you know inefficient charging system and things like that which he definitely needs to get fixed if he's gonna run it on the street he's gonna track it um, but he's got a good head on his shoulder he's got support I'm here too if he doesn't want us to do the work we will definitely support him regardless so this is the fastest spooling 500 plus horsepower capable turbo only downside to this turbo is it doesn't come in stock location it, you have to buy a kit uh, so which doubles the cost but I feel like this turbo will do 600 um, you know if I turned up the boost and timing and maybe even a built motor but it was awesome um, I did not tune at 25 660 before this was a pleasure and working with Jason was amazing it felt really good because I felt his pain and when we got stuff solved and the look on his face it was just you know he was very grateful and we're still in communication uh, we're helping him do things to the car uh, telling him what to do you know things like that that he's doing himself and that's that's what this is about um, thank you guys for watching I hope this helps someone uh, I know there's not a lot of info on this turbo but thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.